Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Meet Our Sister Site Owners. I am here with Courtney, our DC area mom, sister site owner, and I cannot wait for you all to get to know Courtney a little bit, as well as hear about the DC area mom's business and community and all things DC. So uh, we are going to kick off with an announcement that we are giving away a year cheer Valentine's Day box. Yeah. I th I'm actually new to learning about the year cheer and I want Courtney to talk a little bit about it, but this is their Valentine's Day box. And yeah. my heart is that of celebration. And this is definitely what what the founder of Your Cheer shares with me. So show everybody a little bit about what's in this box. Yeah. First of all, thanks so much for having me, Steph. I'm so glad to be here and to see everyone on here. So Your Cheer is a, uh, a celebration box for parents to get in their mailbox like once a month or whenever. You can subscribe to like three, six or nine months or a year. And it just is meant to celebrate life with your kids. So holidays, anything is like that. Um, and they're just meant to make your life a little easier by providing fun things for you to do with your family. So there's a activities, um, ways to give back in your community and stuff like that. So I'm going to showcase what we are have in this giveaway in the Valentine's day box. Yeah. So here's this adorable little, um, connect Four little thing. So they have all these little, um, very Valentine's says, I love you and things like that. Then there's this really fun, um, little balloon that you can, um, hang up somewhere. And all this is just meant to celebrate life because all of us are running, I don't even know how we're all doing it. We're going to look back and think, wow, I survived that. And that was something. <laughs> I know. And, and something like this helps you like enjoy life right now because it's so crazy. And then here's a little garland that you can make with your kids. Um, and then these last two things, first of all, there's a puzzle. I did not make it. Sorry, but you kind of get the picture. Oh. Here's that, which is really cute. But then not only that, you can use the puzzle to make Valentine's Day um cards for your class. So you take the little puzzle pieces and she emails these printables out for everyone. And then there's also a stamp little kit right here for oh, Valentine's. I know all of it is just meant to have fun with your kids. And it's yeah. a great way to do that. And she also has all these printables that she will email um, you with your um, when you get the box. So really fun and just oh. meant to celebrate motherhood and families and kids. So fun. Well, uh, one lucky commenter is going to win the Year Cheer Valentine's Day box. So to enter to win, you comment below. Uh, we'd love for you to tag a mom, uh, especially a DC area mom. Uh, we want to give kudos and a shout out to all of the parents that are living in the DC area uh, right now, and especially want uh, any moms that don't know about DC area mom and the work that uh, Courtney is doing to get to know a little bit more about it uh, by watching this video. So uh, comment below. Uh, but let's hear a little bit about our DC area moms site owner, Courtney. So Courtney, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your family, where you live and how you got connected to DC area moms? Okay. So I'm Courtney and I have been married for 16 and a half years to my husband. My, we're both from Louisiana um, and we moved back up here. Um, we moved up here with two children and now we have two more. So we have four kids um, and life is crazy and fun and busy. Um, and I'm so grateful for um, City Mom Collective. I know when I moved back up here, I really started my site because I moved back up here and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have any mom friends. And there was a red stick mom in Baton Rouge, which I used all the time. And I know the people that started it down there. And um, I moved up here and I was like, surely there's DC area mom's blog or something like that. But there wasn't. Yeah. So I thought about it, prayed about it. And I was like, you know what? I can do this. And so I waited until our third was one and um, hopped on with City Mom Collective. And I'm so grateful. It's been like been one of the best decisions of my life. Um, I've loved the moms that I've connected with, the businesses I've worked with, um, all of the fun resources we've provided, the community that we've created, the events we've had, like everything has been such a blessing. It's been work, but it's been such a blessing. So yeah. um, so anyway, so we have four kids. Um, they're all in, um, well, the older three are in elementary school, fifth grade, third grade, pre-K three, pre-K four. And then we have a two-year-old. Um, and so it's, it's fun. So yeah. that's a little bit about me. Yeah. Well, you, you talked a little bit about DC area moms, uh, but for those that are just getting introduced to it, uh, what is DC area moms? So we are a local parenting site here that really just tries to make everyone's life a little easier by providing 
relevant content for you to read um, articles that really kind of um, you understand and can relate to. Like we have an article today about um, how pregnancy is hard, but yesterday we also had a, um, a guide to childbirth education. So mm -hmm. we just try to hit all areas that all of us feel like motherhood is so wonderful, but it's also difficult. Mm -hmm. So, um, and pregnancy too. So we just try to, um, you know, try to meet moms where they are. And we also try to provide community. We have um, like events. We've had some virtual events. We had Bloom last year, which was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and we're able to partner with some awesome businesses and also just like pamper moms and let them feel loved and supported. Um, anyway, so that's a little bit about us. And I love our team. We have over 35 moms who write for the site, plus our executive team who really just keeps things going behind the scenes. So. Yeah, well, you guys are doing tremendous work. And uh, I know many parents that live in the DC area love it just like you do. But let's hear from you about why you love the DC area in particular. Yeah. So um, we moved back up here and um, it was kind of overwhelming because there's so much to do. So you kind of don't know where to start, but we love going to the Smithsonian's. They're free on the National Mall mm -hmm. and they're gorgeous. So that's like one of our top places to go. It's been a little tricky with the pandemic, but mm -hmm. there's the National Art Gallery. There's the Natural History Museum. Um, mm -hmm. We love the Postal Museum. The Washington Monument is really gorgeous. The White House, of course, you can walk by all this. We saw the National Tree this year. Um, the Capitol building, um, I did not go sledding on the Capitol lawn this year, but I know several people that have, yeah. so that's really fun. It's just like, it's our nation's capital. So it's a very yeah. fun, vibrant place to live. It's very diverse, which I really appreciate. Our kids mm -hmm. are going, they're learning Mandarin, which is a really wonderful gift to give your children. Um, so I, I really like it here. I don't like cold weather, so I'm still learning to kind of manage that. Um, yeah. But other than that, it's really, really great. I love the people that I met here too. Everyone yeah. is from all walks of life and it kind of is like a melting pot because mm -hmm. we see um, attract so many people that are doing mm -hmm. different things. And um, yeah. anyway, we all get to meet here. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, if you are listening to this video and joining us and you are from the DC area, we would love to know what you love about the DC area as well. So comment below and bonus points that your comments get you entered into uh, our giveaway drawing for a year to your Valentine's Day box. So uh, one thing that many people may not know about our sister sites and their businesses and their communities is that Courtney, alongside of all of our site owners, are working months in advance for the things that you see come out on their website and their social media channels. And so I'd love for you to give DC area parents a little sneak peek into something that you're currently working on that's going to go live maybe in February or March or even after that, that you think they're especially going to love. Yes. So one thing that is mega huge, like a huge thing with parents here are summer camps. So we have already started working on that. We started working on that in December. Yeah. So creating and managing our summer camps guide, which I have to give a huge shout out to Paige, who's our sponsorship coordinator for that. Um, so we're working on that um, a lot. And yeah. we also are working on like um, things to do this this spring and this summer. Um, we've, we're already starting to brainstorm ways that we can just um, kind of highlight um, moms in the area. Um, we have a, um, a mom of the month and we're starting some other little things like that. Um, so that's kind of what we're working on. And yeah. also just articles that are really relatable, like just really good resources. We try our best to have resources that moms really could use and need. So yeah. Well, I love that. Uh, if you are not following DC Area Moms on all, all social accounts or on their newsletter, now is the time to do that. Uh, with social media algorithms changing all the time, there is no guarantee you're seeing everything. And so get plugged into their newsletter as well as their social media accounts to stay on top of the news uh, that you need to hear for all parents in the DC area. So uh, my final question for you is a more general question. Uh, we are a collective of 75 sister sites around the country. So DC area moms is only one of 75. We've got lots of sister sites that are not, or cities rather, that are not served by a sister site. And so we're always looking for moms like Courtney that are passionate about their community, passionate about gathering moms together. And so I'd love for you to speak to what you love about being a sister site owner, if you were speaking directly to someone that was considering uh, joining the network. 
Yeah, I would say one thing that drew me to this is connecting with moms and also being a part of the network of City Mom Collective. Mm -hmm. um, it is such a vibrant uh, growth um, network that we're always working and striving to do better, to serve our moms better, to figure out ways to partner better, like just... Um, I, I don't know how to explain it. I, it's it's joyful to be a part of this network. Like mm -hmm. I am so grateful and I love the moms that I've met. We have a, we had our conference two years ago at Disney World, which was really fun. And we got to hang out and meet everyone um, and learn from everyone. So it's a great business opportunity that I'm, I'm working at home, but I also get to enjoy really fun things in our city that um, we get to feature on our site or on social media and things like that. And the biggest thing is that uh, for me is connecting with moms and also making moms feel loved and supported because motherhood is crazy and wonderful, but it's also really hard. So when you band together with moms, you feel like, okay, I can do this. I'm not alone. Um, you know, and you get wisdom from fellow moms. Like you, you hear their stories and you relate to them and things like that. So yeah. that's, it my little little spill. I have more to say, but that's it yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I know many of our site owners feel the same way about uh, the idea of turning their passion into purpose with building this business under City Mom Collective. And we're certainly thankful that you have uh, chosen to carry the baton of DC area moms. Uh, you're doing really really great work. So, uh, just a closing reminder that we are doing a giveaway of a year cheer Valentine's Day box. It is actually owned by a local DC area mom, which is part of our heart is to support local business owners. And so one lucky commenter is going to win uh, the Valentine's Day box. It's going to, it's perfect for the timing when this is coming out. So uh, comment below, tag a mom to enter to win. Uh, thank you so much, Courtney. So good to be able to talk to you. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. Bye.